Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 38 of Book 7. Now, this proposition states that if A is divisible by any number, it can also be measured by that number. So let's start that we have b is a fraction of a, and c is equal to the inverse of that fraction. So we have b is a certain fraction, one c of a, if you will. Then this proposition states that c will also measure a. So to demonstrate this, again we start off with that b is some fraction of a. We have the unit number is equal to d. Now, b is a certain fraction of a, and d is the same fraction of c. So in that case, d measures c the same number of times that b measures a. But if we have these two conditions, using the proposition 15 of this book, d will measure b the same number of times that c measures a. So here we have b measures d the same number of times that c measures a. Again, that's proposition 15 of that book, of this book. So we have that c measures a. So thus we have shown if b is a fraction of a, and that fraction is represented by the number c, then c will also measure a. And that's it for this proof.